Today we're going to be looking at SSH tunneling with the N900. We're going to be connecting to the computer in the background here with the N900 and running graphical applications. So let's start. We're going to type just as you would on a computer your command here SSH dash capital X for X forwarding the username on the remote computer and the remo uh, remote computer's IP address. We'll hit enter, give it a second here to find that computer through the wireless. It'll ask us for the password. Let me type in my password. Then I'll hit enter. It will start to connect, and I'm connected. So I am currently logged in on the computer in the background here. I am going to go up. I'm going to start up ZYN add sub effect. Now, even though we're running it from the remote computer, N900 is going to use its XORG, which is going to automatically make everything full screen. So some things like ZYN add sub effect, which isn't designed to go full screen, will look weird and have like big gray areas like this, and some of it might go off the bottom of the screen. But we have ZYN add sub effect started here. And just like always with X forwarding, the audio will always play out of the remote computer. So I won't hear any audio out of the phone, but if I play on the keyboard here, you hear it coming out of the speakers on the computer. This is great for certain applications if to use it as a remote for music playing, which I'll get into in a future video. But I quickly wanted to show you X forwarding on the ZY, or ZY and that sub effect, on the N900, and it works great. It's relatively flat, fast, 100% encrypted, and you can run any graphical application from your desktop on your phone that easy. Uh, and I can close it. And you can see it even, it even shows up in different windows, uh, so you can run multiple applications if you want to. So, the N900 SSH with X forwarding from a desktop. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.